Hello, good morning, one and everyone. We have seen chapter number two correlation in statistics and theoretic part we have covered in lecture one and lecture two. Today we are going to study the scatter diagram method for studying the correlation. There are three types or three methods for study correlation. Number one, scatter diagram method. Number two, calculation coefficient of correlation, and it is also known as the product moment method. And the third one, Spearman's coefficient of right correlation. Practical examples based on scatter diagram method. This is scatter diagram method, diagrammatic method, graphical method. Here, page number sixty-six, example number two point one, example number two. Advertisement expense and profit. The data are given to you. Draw the scatter diagram and discuss or the state types of nature of the correlation between them. By taking one variable on x-axis and another variable on y-axis. By taking one of the variable on x-axis and another variable on y-axis. By presenting this way, x-axis the measurement two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. On y-axis two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. We have to plot the points pairwise. Five, eight, this way. Here somewhere five, eight, right? Five, eight. Then eight, ten. This is eight. This is ten. This is the point eight, ten. Ten, twelve. This is the point ten, twelve. That ten, twelve no point here. Similarly. We have to plot all the points, all the values, pairwise in the coordinate system on the graph paper or in a plain paper in notebook. Also, you can draw this diagram. Now, resulting diagram is known as the scatter diagram. From the shape of the diagram, we can say the type or the nature of correlation existing between them. Here, the plotted points are in the upward direction, from lower left corner to the upper right corner. And the correlation is said to be positive correlation. There are two degree positive correlation of high degree and positive correlation of low degree. But as these points are scattered very near, it means at shorter distance. Therefore, correlation is of the high degree, but the positive correlation. From the resulting scatter diagram, we can say that the variables means variates x and y are positively correlated, correlated under high degree. Also, we have to write down the scale for both one centimeter equal to two unit on x-axis and on y-axis one centimeter equal to two unit. Similarly, we can take another example, example number two: monthly expense and monthly saving in terms of thousands of rupees x and y. Page number sixty-three, example number two. This is the illustration example given in textbook. Fifteen, eighteen. Eight means fifteen thousand, eighteen thousand, eight thousand, and savings five thousand, two thousand, five thousand, etc. Therefore, we have to draw the diagram by taking on x-axis monthly expense on x-axis and monthly saving on y-axis. Also, we have to take two, four, six. You may change the measurement also. Scale also also change. Means pairwise fifteen and five. Here 15 and 5 is point. 18 and 2, 18 and 2. 10, 10. Here also for 10, 10. This is the point 10, 10. 18, 2. This diagram is known as the scatter diagram. That is why this is known as the scatter diagram method. Or study or it's one of the type, the first type. Points are scattered in a straight line manner downward from upper left corner to the lower right corner. From upper left corner. To the lower right corner. Therefore, correlation is said to be perfect negative, and the value of y is minus one. From the resulting scatter diagram, we can say that variables x and y are perfect negatively correlated. Means correlation is perfect negative. Value of y is minus one. You have to practice this type of sum in our textbook exercise number two point one. Same same type of example. And before that, before that, the illustrations are also given. 
therefore b practice b practice five or seven example of the same type you can obtain three to four marks for this type of example and next time we are going to see the practical example based on carl pearson method carl pearson's coefficient of correlation actually method actually the practical method so please be practice thank you everybody thank you very much